When you're trying to pick a bait out for fall fishing, you need to keep two things in mind, in my opinion. Bait fish or crawfish. Those are the two things that bass are gonna be feeding up on almost any part of the country. The, the crawfish side of that is really something I feel like is overlooked. You know, anybody you talk to that knows much about fall fishing is gonna to talk to you about fish schooling, fish chasing bait, and fish, you know, busting on top water and that type of thing. But a lot of anglers, because we don't see it, like we see those visual, you know, those visual clues with fish busting on bait, we don't see that with crawfish. We don't see them, you know, crawfish don't run around in the school and, and bass blow them up on the bank. They just, they're down on the bottom, so we don't see that feeding going on. But especially during those moon phases, that's when those crawfish are gonna be out in full force and you're able to really key in on that bite, especially early in the day, and then sometimes, you know, all throughout the day on, on especially rocky banks. Those type of places are, are the kind of place I'm gonna pitch a jig and even throw a crawfish imitating crankbait, something along those rocky banks, you know, where those crawfish have come out of and the bass will set up there to ambush them. But outside of that, it is, it's about bait fish, whether that's shad, that's bluegill, that's herring, that's perch, whatever that may be, even shiners down, down further south, trying to make, a, trying to imitate those bait fish with your bait, whether it's a crankbait, a topwater bait, a spinner bait, those are all great shad bait fish imitating baits that really do a, a great job for me in the fall. Either a jig or some type of plastic crawl, like a Bass Pro Bomb crawl, or a crankbait, you know, a DT6, Storm Topwalker, topwater baits, those are the baits that I use in the fall.